welcome back. When Instagram announced it would be taking away the likes function, the online world was truly divided. Gone was the double tap and constant comparing how popular your posts are, according to the platform. The decision was used to, uh, to make the user experience more positive, but a tirade of digital marketers disagree. Now, one social media starlet whose opinion had the whole country talking was Michaela Tester. The model went viral after she posted this clip. Life stop. I'm just trying to stay calm so I can get these words out properly because they're not coming out. I just think I'm going to have a really big break from social media for a while because it's really just... Well, now Michaela says she's been misinterpreted and wants to set the record straight, claiming that lack of likes is putting influencer authenticity at risk. And Michaela joins us now live from the Gold Coast. Really nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, you've got more than 70,000 followers on Instagram, and this is your actual job. Uh, explain to us how you were uh, misrepresented and misinterpreted when we saw that post, Michaela. So the video of me crying was actually created because of bullying and hateful DMs I was receiving from my initial Facebook post that I wrote and lots of media outlets just misinterpreted that and I'm getting lots of troll comments on all of my posts and it's just overwhelming. Yes, so your original Facebook post was about the, removing the likes? Yes. And then you got trolled and then that was the that result. Was, that was the result of it. Mm. So where are you at now? How are you feeling now? I'm feeling a lot better than I was. Definitely um, all this media attention has me, you know, getting a lot more hate comments and stuff, but I'm just trying not to let it get to me. Okay, so like yourself, many influencers are now using Instagram as a way to market themselves. How heavily do you rely on Instagram for your own personal brand? How, how big a business is it for you? It's all I do. It is my job. It's how I make my money. It's how I eat, sleep do everything throughout the day it's what i live off basically what, what were you doing before this came along this business um i was going to school okay. okay and is this so this is your job so you make enough money out of this michaela that you can you know fund your life yes definitely 100 percent. okay so if, if that's the case and that's how you live what was your first reaction then when you found out that instagram was going to remove those likes i was honestly a little bit scared um for myself and for a lot of my friends, they are in the industry, um, and also for brands as well. And, and then, so this has been up and running now for, wow, I'm going to say at least six weeks, maybe even maybe longer. What has your experience been? Has it changed the way that you're making your living? It hasn't exactly changed the way I make my living, but it has changed um, brands because from all the media attention, I actually have grown, so I can't say whether or not it has affected me personally but I do know that has affected other brands. Mm. So isn't it, that's ironic, Michaela, isn't it? You're all upset about it. Yeah. Then you post the video and in, and in turn that your followers have gone up. Does, can you see what a crazy world this is? It's a very crazy world, honestly. Michaela, we talk about this a lot on the show and the negative impacts of social media on the mental health of particularly young women. And now Instagram has said the reason they've removed the likes is so um, if people would stop focusing on that, you know, that popularity and make social media a more positive experience. Mm. So there's a nice message behind this. Do, do you agree with that on any level? Um, I don't believe that Instagram has, you know, removed the likes for mental health. I honestly believe that Instagram has just removed the likes to, you know, stray away from brands to use influencers as a sort of promotion rather than using influencers to pay Instagram to advertise. You know what I mean? Um, Instagram is a massive um, advertising market all over the world for influencers and brands. And I just think, you know, Instagram is sick of influencers making money off that and Instagram would like to take that from them. Okay, so you've said that's been your experience. Now your popularity has gone up purely because of the viral video. What are your friends sort of finding? What's sort of the talk amongst your group now? You say you're, you're involved in that sort of influencer group. Mm -hmm. what are they, what's their feedback been to you, Michaela? Um, do you mean about all of the viral stuff or regarding Instagram likes? The Instagram likes. They're really upset and they're Still? angry. Yeah. Yes, they are. And do you see a change here? You guys getting together and trying to work out a way around that, how to move forward, given that it is the way that you, you eat and you earn money off that? Yeah, we're just going to have to, you know, try and find some sort of other way to show our engagement um, and just show the authenticity of our accounts.
Okay, well, let's, uh, what would you like to see Instagram do to combat the online bullying? Sorry? Would you like to, what would you like to see them do to combat online bullying? Because you said that you were, remember you said at the beginning you got that awful bullying as yeah. a result of the Facebook. So is there more they can be doing in this space? There's definitely more they can be doing than removing Instagram likes. They can be trying to, you know, get these troll accounts under control and monetize the comments, getting commented on people's posts. Okay. And what do you say to um, to everyone who got that story wrong? As we, we're, we're out of time, but just what's your, your closing remarks? Everyone who sort of misunderstood what was going on there with you. I wasn't crying about Insta Instagram likes. I don't agree with the likes, but I wasn't crying about Instagram likes. All right. Okay, Michaela, good to get that. Does that feel better talking about it and getting that real story? Definitely, from? 100%. Yeah, true. Okay. <laughs> well, glad, glad we could help you out. Thanks, Michaela. Good talking to you. Yeah, no. Okay, thanks, Bye. Michaela. We'll be back with more of the morning show in just a tip.